G'day, my name is Nate and I'm from EPT. Today I want to talk about golf biomechanics and part of the reason why is because I've been having clients coming to me with niggling back injuries, uh, complaining about how bad their game has been and a big, a, you know, a big part of it is has contributed to the, um, you know, to the lockdown and, and lack of practice of getting on the golf course. But in saying that, there is a number of things that you can actually do to first improve your golf game and second, decrease the chance of you hurting yourself while you're out on the course. Now, strength and conditioning and golf don't normally are talked about in the same time. So what I'd like you to get present to is, is that golf actually puts a lot of stress on your lower back. In fact, the amount of pressure that you put through your lower back when you swing the golf club to hit the ball off the tee is around about the same amount of weight and strength that it would take you to be able to lift a weight heavy enough that you could only do it four times. So there's quite a lot of sheer force that goes through the back. Now in saying that, there's four things that you need to be aware of when you are actually training for golf so that way you can minimize the injuries and also optimize your performance. And that is your flexibility, your stability, your strength, and your power. Now the first one, obviously flexibility is really important so that way you improve the range of motion, you decrease the, the chance of injury, and then also it allows your body to rebalance up. So generally why muscles are tight is because the muscles that are not working are doing nothing yet the muscles that are working are putting too much pressure on your lower back and they're causing this tension and, and of course when you hit it too hard or or if you uh, have those muscle imbalances after a round of golf of 120 like me 120 strokes or 80 strokes uh, it does put a lot of pressure on your discs so flexibility is really really important the next one is stability now I always say you cannot fire a, can a cannon from a canoe and what I mean by that is, is that, you know, if your body is not stable and you're firing these balls down the, 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 um, the, the driveway, you've got to make sure that um, you are stable and stable through each joint as well. So that's really important. Now, the next one is strength. And strength is really important as well because, of course, you know, we have to not only generate the strength when we swing the golf club, but also to be able to slow down that golf club after that swing, which generally is where the point where a lot of people get issues through not only their lower back, but also their shoulders as well. And of course, the final one is power. Now, obviously we wanna go for you know an all round game, but the ability to be able to generate the amount of force that you can through that golf club allows you to be able to drive further. And it's shown that, you know, even with all the technology of different clubs that have that have come into our game over the last 50 or 60 years, hasn't really decreased the scores that are actually on our on our um, on our driving ranges and on, on our on our golf courses. So it points to me that, you know, we need to be able to strengthen condition, not only just for our optimum performance, but also decreasing our pain and also the, the chance of injury. So if you are interested in increasing the, 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 the chances of your scores going down and also decreasing the chance of injury, then I recommend getting with us and being able to train your bodies on those four things, flexibility, stability, strength, and power. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my talk. I hopefully that I'll hear from you soon. And if there's any questions that you would like to find out more or, or ask me, then please go right ahead and you can, you can click on the, uh, the email below and then you can uh, get hold of me and I'll answer them as soon as I can. So until next time, have a great day.